of that is always a bit of a drawback when we start talking about colored shirts and sublimation, okay, for traditional sublimation. But right now, what's pretty hot with sublimation, not just sublimation, but with a lot of the, um, the garment world, is doing one and two color logos on brighter colored items. Because really, bright colored logos on bright colored items get kind of weird a lot of times. So it's just a new trend that we're seeing. And so now that starts to open up the doors because now we start doing these brighter colored shirts here, but we're using just one and two color inks. Now, even with the blends, like this is a blend, and when we're using that blend, yeah, it gives you a little bit of washed out look, but the whole shirt color look washed out. This is a really cool color. It's a really nice style. You can see it, it's, it has a um, female cut to it. And, you know, that one came out pretty cool the way we did that. So most of these here are giving you that kind of um, rougher type of look with some of the graphics. And so you want to follow that trend as much as you can because right now it doesn't matter because we're using blacks and navies and royals and things like that on some of these, um, you know, brighter color backgrounds. So it gives us a lot of uh, capabilities there to reach into things. Now, one of the things you have to be careful of, that you, if you haven't run into it because you haven't done any colored garments yet, once you get into real colored garments, you may find this to be a bit of a challenge for you, okay? And this is what we call um, garment fading. Now, most of you are probably familiar with, if you've done any apparel, you're already familiar with the concepts of 